guys, so it's time to talk about what went down this week regarding the most anticipated iPhone of all time, the iPhone 8. We are like two months away and the famous KGI analyst Ming-Chi Ko decided to drop pipe bomb on Apple fans with his predictions and keep in mind this guy has a great track record. He says that the iPhone 8 will have the highest, and I mean the highest screen to body ratio of any phone on the market thanks to the addition of the notch at the top of the screen and yes they are calling it a notch and a virtual in-screen home button down below. Out of 5.8 inches, only 5.3 inch will be usable and the rest is taken by the new function area. He confirms that this dummy that we've been seeing for so long is indeed how the real iPhone 8 will look like with all time highest screen to body ratio featuring a notch on top to have these sensors and earpiece. However, the iPhone 8 will not feature a touch ID sensor of any kind, not on the back not on the front, not on the power button, nowhere. They killed it just like they killed the jack, the courageous, brave, dumb apple. And the feature that will replace the fingerprint is, drum roll please, a 3D facial sensor, wow. Okay, so we already know how this facial sensor is working on the Galaxy S8, like at times it works, you can rely on it, but not all the time, and it can be tricked. Fingerprint scanner is still the default way of unlocking for a lot of people and to just completely kill it is kind of too far. Like we have seen Touch ID fingerprint scanner ever since the 5S came out in 2013. So removing it altogether is a big shock decision if it really does happen. He says Apple is facing a lot of technical issues with the fingerprint scanner placement under the display. So, so we still have to wait till 2018 for in-screen fingerprint scanner iPhone and I can almost guarantee that now Samsung will be the first one to do it with the Galaxy S9. Apple had their chance and now it's gone. We do have a little bit of information regarding the 3D facial scanner so it's going to be different and more advanced than any facial scanner we have. Faster and reliable some kind of 3D depth sensing technology is implemented which will provide more security and improve selfie result. It has to be super reliable because it's going to be the only security thing on the iPhone other than having just a normal passcode. The iPhone 8 and the 5.5 inch iPhone 7 S Plus will include 3 gigs of RAM while the new 4.7 inch iPhone 7 S will continue to pack 2 gigs of RAM. Another big improvement is coming to the speakers so Apple will be improving the dual stereo speaker system on the iPhone 8. Stereo speaker is a strong plus point for the iPhone something we don't see on Samsung or LG. This is definitely a welcome upgrade. The iPhone 8 will be offered in just two colors so expect it to be in white and black. The storage mentioned are 64 and 256 gigabyte. All three models will have lightning ports but they will be embedded USB power deliver circuit for faster charging speed so you can expect like lightning to USB-C cable uh, in the box something like that for fast charging. The announcement for all the iPhones is same but the launch of the iPhone 8 might get delayed somewhere around October and the full supply will come in 2018. A wise guy once said, if Samsung can't do it, nobody can't. And it really seemed true here. Again, this is his prediction. Apple tried everything, but nothing seems to work. There are just so many technical difficulties in having the scanner under the display. So again, we have to wait till 2018. So guys, a big, big news regarding the iPhone 8. I know it's hard to digest for some people that the fingerprint scanner under the display is not happening. But let's see how this 3D facial scanner will work. It has to have something that Apple is thinking to, you know, just kill the Touch ID scanner altogether. So I really think that something cool will happen. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts on this. If the iPhone 8 came with no Touch ID scanner, would you buy it or you go with the Galaxy Note 8? And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.